Hello, brothers and sisters. Today I want to talk to you about revelation and what revelation really produces in us. I'm reading from Daniel 2, 19 to 23. You see, the context is King Nebuchadnezzar has a dream, and Daniel is tasked with not only speaking back to Nebuchadnezzar what his dream was without having learned about it, but also telling him what it means. And the Lord comes to Daniel and shows him Nebuchadnezzar's dream and tells him what it means. And this is Daniel's response. But during the night, the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision. Then Daniel praised the God of heaven and said, Praise be to the name of God forever and ever. Wisdom and power are his. He changes times and seasons. He deposes kings and raises up others. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with him. I thank and praise you, God of my ancestors. You have given me wisdom and power. You have made known to me what we asked of you. You have made known to us the dream of the king. One of the things that Revelation imparts to us is faith. Think about how high Daniel's faith is in being shown what someone else dreamt and being shown what it means in a vision from the Lord. Uh, it just made him believe that God is who he says he is, that um, God knows all things. And, you know, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. And so here, Daniel grows in faith. Also, he grows in humility. He acknowledges, oh my goodness, there is God and there is no other, right? <laughs> um, that this wisdom and power isn't sourced in me. This wisdom and power is from God alone. Only God is God. It produces in Daniel praise and gratitude, thanksgiving. Daniel is praising God for who he is. He's not just acknowledging it in humility. He's praising God and rightly worshiping God and thanking him. And lastly, and not in any order, but lastly, Daniel is experiencing the joy of the Lord. Jesus says in the New Testament that these things I speak to you, that your joy may be full. And also he says, anything you ask in my name, so in other words, answered prayer, I will give to you that your joy may be full. And so... Jesus, uh, in speaking this, uh, or rather, we see in Daniel then, uh, his joy is full at answered prayer. His joy is full at the revelation. Um, you know, he is experiencing the wisdom of God in knowing not just what the revelation is, but what it means. And so, to recap that, humility, praise, Faith and joy are fostered, are established in us through revelation. A revelation from the Lord. One moment, one revelation can change your life forever. Uh, and, um, you know, the context for revelation is identity, is intimacy. It's knowing who we are and whose we are. And so we seek him and we encounter him uh, in this love relationship. Of course, in Daniel's experience, it was a gift. I mean, he had a, a night vision uh, from the Lord. Uh, 
you know, God gives his gifts and it doesn't require intimacy, but intimacy certainly fosters hearing God, experiencing him more deeply. And this happens through prayer, his word, service, and community with one another. Prayer, his word, service, and community with one another. We hear God better together when we experience God, when we get a revelation of Jesus Christ, we grow in faith, praise, humility, and joy. God bless you, brothers and sisters.